This Mobile Geeks video is powered by Asus. Hi, this is Daniel for Mobile Geeks and we are having a look at the brand new Kodak Ektra smartphone, the newest camera phone from Kodak, uh, which has some very interesting camera features built in. And as you can see here, um, the design is also very interesting indeed. So first of all, let's have a quick tour around the device. Um, on the front, you get a five inch display with full HD resolution. It's an IPS panel, meaning you get some natural colors and wide viewing angles, although the blacks are not as deep as with an AMOLED panel. Um, sharpness is really good. 5 inches and Full HD is just perfect. You don't need more resolution on a 5 inch display. On the top there's a 13 megapixel camera. Um, no on-screen buttons but you do have some um, some soft touch buttons and red buttons on the bottom which is quite nice so you have more screen real estate. Um, but what's really interesting with this device, this is a 5 inch display but it's still not as handy as you can see here the display bezels are really huge compared to the Honor 8 which is a 5.2 inch device you can see that the extra is even a bit larger um, and especially compared side by side in the thickness as well and also let's put the S7 edge um, next to it as well 5.5 inch display as you can see here size more or less the same but the S7 edge is even thinner so you can see the Actra is definitely not the smallest phone out there. Um, on the left side, there's a micro SD card slot and an SIM card slot as well. Um, on the bottom, there's a USB Type-C port, which supports USB 3.0, which is quite nice. On the right side, you can put your lanyard inside here or your strap. Um, and there is a dedicated camera button, which is always quite nice with a um, focus functionality. And um, there's um, on and off switch, volume rocker over here, which is a bit, I don't know, I'm not quite satisfied with it yet, but this is still a pre-production sample, don't forget that, guys. Um, on the top, 3.5mm jack uh, for your headphones, which is getting quite rare, um, and um, a microphone as well. So having a look at the back, you can see that the Kodak Ektra looks definitely quite interesting and quite yeah, distinguishable from other smartphones out there. You have a lever, fake lever, back on the here, um, which adds some really nice grip to it. And also in combination with this, um, with this grip, with this chin over here, it definitely feels like a point and shoot camera in your hands, which is actually quite nice to make photos with it and just just having it in the hand feels really natural and really good while taking photos. Um, also inside this chin here you get a speaker which gets some more volume because this is one of the thicker parts of the phone so that's quite nice as well. On the back you can see there is a 21 megapixel camera uh, with face detection autofocus and 6 axis OIS. Uh, it can shoot 4K video and um, you also get a dual LED flash which is also quite nice. Um, the make of the phone is, the build quality is <laughs> quite nice although you don't if this looks like metal to you, I must disappoint you. This is not metal. This is actually plastic, but it has some metal um, metal finish on it, so it does look like metal, but it's actually not. Still, the phone feels pretty rigid. So now, uh, let's have a look at the camera software and the camera features. Launching into the camera app is quite fast. Let's put um, the the phone right there so we can test the focus. So the focus I experienced is not the fastest but it does have object tracking which is quite nice and it is quite consistent with that but the speed of the focus could be a bit better. Other phones are definitely better at it. Um, what's interesting about the software, the camera software here is that you have a nice dial. Maybe you know the PASM dials on your um, camera if you used to have one. Um, this is quite similar and what is nice about this dial here is uh, that if you turn it with every step, with every mode it changes, it actually has a small vibration. So you have some nice tactile feedback. If it is too small for you, you can just tap in the middle and have a big dial over here. Um, so that's possible as well. This is a 21 megapixel camera. You can change the resolution right there. And there are also some nice um, buttons in the auto mode, but 
when you really want to dig in to you know to all the action you just switch to manual and you get a lot more controls on the bottom so over here you can see this is the aperture you cannot change the aperture but um, Kodak says it's important for them to um, show the aperture since they want to sell these phones especially to users who are used to know which aperture they're shooting with um, shutter speed ISO this is the focus, so you can have manual focus on your phone, and there's also macro mode, which is gets up to five centimeters. Um, so that's quite nice as well. There's also um, white balance, and of course your exposure compensation as well. Um, what's else quite interesting is they also have a bokeh mode. So if we go to bokeh, um, it will shoot an object, which is less than 20 inches away and then it will shoot the object and the background and afterwards you can switch between the sharpness level of the object and the background in your camera app. As you can see here it's not really quick and um, the, the um, bokeh mode on the Honor 8 and Huawei P9 are definitely a lot faster and also more precise I must say but we will see in the final software and hardware how well um, it shoots. So um, having camera controls is great, but what Kodak thinks is that shooting a photo is one thing, uh, another thing is editing photos. So they have their gallery app, uh, that was a quick spoiler, I'm sorry. So you can dive right into your photos and have a quick edit with the um, Kodak editor, but they also say, well, why do we have to reinvent the wheel? Um, why don't we just integrate Snapseed, which is also, in my opinion, the best app for um, photo manipulation. So you get a lot of rich features and tools and filters in Snapseed built in, and you can um, dive into Snapseed with just one click. So that's really convenient. Also, Kodak thinks, um, um, we all shoot all of these photos and, and our travels and trips but we just use the storage in the cloud or we just put them on the hard drive and never look at them again so they've added a feature which is called Kodak prints you can actually order prints of your photos from the phone and um, send them right to your home so that's also quite nice and you can you know, just give a gift to your grandma or just have a look at the photos on, on actual paper and they definitely look good um, in our first test. So also third and not least feature is the Super 8 mode. So Kodak introduced a Super 8 camera um, some months ago and what you can do here is you can shoot Super 8 video with this typical Super 8 filter um, and you can have some, you know, Super 8 material with different kind of um, film implemented onto the footage which you've shot with this camera. So I'm not sure if I would be using it. You can let us know in the comments if you would, if you're a big Super 8 fan, but uh, this is one of the yeah, more gimmicky stuff about the Kodak Extra. Um, Spec-wise, you do get some nice performance inside here. This is running the MediaTek MT um, 6797 which is the Helio X20 CPU uh, which runs with 10 cores which two of them can run with up to 2.3 gigahertz um, this would also mean that you get really nice battery life since you have a 3000 milliamp hour battery inside here and since the screen is not that big and has just um, 1080p resolution this definitely should get you through the day with a lot of photos and um, videos probably even up to two days if you don't use the phone too much there's also three gigabytes of ram which means it gets some really nice um, multitasking performance so that looks good as well um, this is one of the quicker phones out there and what's also interesting is um, this is running uh, in, yeah this an unskinned version of Android 6.0 which is Marshmallow. Um, it's not the newest version um, but still one of the more up-to-date versions out there and it definitely runs it very smoothly. Um, other than that 32 gigabytes of internal storage um, which is expandable as I said via micro SD cards and there is also 5 volt 2 amp charging which is not quick charge but there is some pump express feature um, which Kodak is 
offering as well. Um, Price-wise, 4.99 US dollars. I'm not sure about that, but it's 4.99 euros. So it's probably also 4.99 US dollars, and it will be coming out in early December. This was a very quick first look at the Kodak Ektra smartphone. Let us know in the comments how you like it. Um, if you think that this is the phone for you, let us know in the comments, and I'll be glad to chat about that with you. Um, and of course give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and of course subscribe to our channel to not miss out on any more um, technology videos. Um, I'm Daniel for Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS.